we put icing in the center. Now we're going to spread it out. I actually like to have it hang over the sides a little bit, and I'll show you why in a second. Now I'm going to put my other layer on top, and I'm going to flip this over so the two cut sides of the cake are together. The reason we do this is so all my crumbs are going to be inside there and I get less crumbs. I, I don't want to have to ice a cut cake on top where there's more crumbs. Now that part that I had hanging over, I'm going to smooth out. And now we're ready to get the crumbs off my turntable. Let's put the icing on the cake. I always use a cake icer tip. This is going to save you tons of time and headaches. Put it against here, spin the turntable, and squeeze the icing. I'm going to do another layer on top. Spin the turntable, squeeze the icing. Now I'm going to do the top. Now I have the icing on my cake. Now I'm going to take my angled spatula, smooth it out. See, look, we have no crumbs in our icing because they're all trapped underneath. Smooth out the top a little bit. Always make sure when you're pulling your spatula away that you're pulling it away. You don't want to pull it straight up and down because that's going to pull cake crumbs out. Okay, now I'm going to take my favorite tool right here, which is this icing, plastic icing smoother. It has a nice large surface. I'm just going to spin my turntable. Now I'm going to do the top. I like to take a little of this extra icing off first because we're not going to need that. Then kind of smooth it a little bit. Take my blade once across. Run it around. I got it. Now I have a smooth top. And then one more time on the side. And there you go. We have a cake that's ready for borders and decorations.